I drank water until I hurled. <sighs> okay, I said it. I hurled a lot. Because it was a real close-knit community, I felt like the red-headed stepchild. I had a big drinking problem. I mean, I really did. I mean, who doesn't from time to time? If Sandy says she didn't, she's lying. And I know Archimedes has, because I've seen her. It takes her longer, but she can drink just as much as me. Stupid cat. Sandy, my sister, she likes to eat trash a lot. She also likes to eat other people's food, and mine, and Archimedes. She's an emotional eater. And I think she had some personal issues, like some self-worth issues, because she was a little overweight. I don't know what she says about me, but I think she's got the best of everything. And I kind of get the short end of the stick. For example, when I was four months old, you know what happened to me? I was at grandma's house, outside, doing my thing, and I turned around to go inside, and the door was shut. I was locked out. I was locked out, and everybody else was inside. And you know what they did? You know how they comforted me? They mocked me. I wouldn't do that to someone that got locked out. Archimedes can be a little bit, you know, standoffish, and like I said earlier, she likes to hiss at me. Sometimes she shows me the claw. I don't like that so much. She likes to be difficult, but I think deep down, she wants to play, you know, cats. So my neighbor has a new, I think I mentioned earlier, the wiener dog, Mojo. She is actually a transplant from Texas. And, you know, I really thought we'd get along because except for her color, she looks kind of like my sister Sandy. But she's kind of a snot. She's just aggressive. She gets along with Bailey okay. She gets along with uh, Sandy fine, actually. It's just me she doesn't like, and I don't know why. I'm likable. She gets mad at me, and I think she gets jealous because she thinks I'm going to take her camel away. It stays right outside of her Motown. She hangs out in Motown, you know. She likes to hog the camel. But remember I told you she likes to get a pretty aggressive? I'm not going after that camel unless I know she's not in her Motown. Bailey and I kind of have stuff in common because, you know, at one point she was the new, new dog on the block. Auntie Anna and Uncle Mark got her in 2004 when her family just gave her up. They just, the, one of the kids was allergic, so she was living in a garage and they brought her over to live with uh, Auntie Anna. I think I identify with Bailey more because she and I were both brought into the family, you know, like after it had already been established. And we kind of had to be the second dog. We had to be the last one to eat, the last one out the door, the one <laughs> locked out. I don't know if Bailey's ever been locked out. But anyway, you know, we, we kind of, I think we kind of get along because we have similar backgrounds. Although I have a lot more energy than Bailey. She's 12 years old. That's really old in human years. But yeah, we get along. I miss Gunnison. I would go back there right now. I, I really got into hiking when I was there. I even had my own backpack. Dogs don't really have jobs. I mean, if you think about it, someone puts our food down, washes our bowls, does all that stuff. So I actually enjoyed, I took pride in my job, which was dragging the pack, backpack around with all the stuff in it. Basically in the mountain setting, if another dog got lost, or was hurt or hungry, I had it all in my backpack. So I pretty much was a very useful, you know, individual up there. Mom didn't carry the backpack. You know who did? Me, Big M. Big M carried the backpack. I'm proud of it. In the suburbs, the job is just diminished. There's nothing to do here. There's hardly any snow. There's really no dogs that you know, don't have food, so nobody looks in my backpack. They don't need it. They just look at me like I, like there's something wrong with me just because I want to wear a backpack. So a lot of times I don't. I just give up. I gave up the backpack. I don't care. I look at it sometimes forlornly. Maybe if we get, win you know, snow this winter, I might wear it around. But pff, what's the point? What's the point?